Hello, my name is Jarmo Viteli. I come from the University of Tampere, Finland, and I will give you the short story about the learning analytics. You all know that the book is a great learning environment. We have read a lot of books and we have learned a lot. This book about Pinocchio, for example, it's a great story about the young boy and what it means when you lie. As we all know and remember, uh, his nose started to grow. And I think after reading this book, many of the kids have understood that lying is not a good thing. So it has been a real learning experience. When we are in the school, we study math, foreign languages, and then after the course we take a test. And in a test you get, for example, grade 7 out of 10. What it means? It means you know a lot, but there are also some caps in your knowledge on that topic. However, you are able to continue to the next course, even that you didn't know all the things what was required in the previous one. So that might create problems. In Sao Khan, who has created the Khan Academy, which provides thousands of excellent videos, told a story while I was visiting at the University of Stanford at SRI Education in the US about that when you start to build a house, you start with the basement, and then after you have finished the basement, and then the inspector comes and look at it and said, okay, it's fine, looks good, only the one corner is 10% lower than the other ones. But go ahead, build the first floor. You start to build the first floor after you have finished, the inspector comes again and says, okay, looks good. However, the one corner is now 20% lower. And in that way, continue the building and you know what happens. The whole building will collapse at the end. And the same thing happens to you or me or anybody else if we don't know very well the basic functions on different disciplines so that we can have a strong basement to build our knowledge based on that. And that's why we need learning analytics. Learning analytics is especially designed for the digital learning environments. So when you are studying things using computer or your mobile phone or other device. The fundamental idea of the learning analytics is really to give you and your teacher information how you are progressing in your studies and where you are having challenges. And it won't let you continue before, before you have really shown that you understand the topic what you are studying and in that way the learning analytics try to really make it sure that you know the things before you move to the next step. And that's the beauty of the learning analytics. So I strongly recommend you if you are studying the digital environment that you also are using the learning analytics and or if you are designing the digital learning environments make it sure that that part of the whole environment, learning environment, is the digital analytic, learning analytic tools so that both the student and the teacher can make it sure that I know the things and I will get help if I need it when I'm studying. In that way, at the end, everybody will get 10 out of 10. Thank you.